Uh, my name is Greg Robinson. I'm a physician by training. I've worked in palliative care in the early 80s. I'm also a person that lives with HIV and AIDS and have done so for almost 30 years now. So I now live with cancer and diabetes and bone disease, knee problems, and it goes on and on. I know where my body is going. I have a liver that's failing and I will need to make some very strong decisions in the near future around how much intervention I will want near the end of life. I had had a very distorted sense of death and dying because I lived through the 1980s with patients and lovers and friends who died of AIDS. I lost my partner in the 1980s from AIDS who gurgled and rasped until the last moment. <clears throat> my father with his uh, cancer eventually required in-hospital care. Being a strong-willed man, he went into palliative care with, um, I think, every expectation that he would just die naturally. But after two weeks of, of, of rather um, difficult circumstances, um, he awoken one day and said, I'm still here, and looked at me and said, could you please get Dr. Kevorkian? What devastated me was for him to ask me to do something which, both as a physician and as his son, it broke my heart to say, no, I could not, because my immediate reaction was to want to relieve the suffering. And the, it, was, it was heartbreaking. I just, I just did not know in that moment how I was going to be able to help him. And the doctor agreed to terminal palliative sedation with my father, which he undertook. He was restless for 24 hours, but eventually passed away. I believe we have all choices in life and in death. I find it uh, quite meditative to sit and ponder what my existence will be around the time of death and whether I can maintain and be with my family and friends. And for me, I have a lovely terrace that overlooks a park. I have a lovely chaise lounge that's on the terrace. I want to lay on the chaise lounge in the sun and I want to look at the trees and then I just want to close my eyes.